Guys, we got a freaking awesome video in store for you this evening. We got an Intel Arc A770 16 gigabyte overclocked edition, Acer Predator awesomeness on the set. And I cannot wait to unbox this thing, do some gaming and benchmarks with you tonight. And it's going to be freaking awesome. Hey guys, I want to do some talking about this GPU really quick. I want to talk about the specs and the drivers and the state of things really quick. So the state of things with the drivers is it's not playing all games and I will put a list up here really quick of what games it's still having issues with. Secondly, if you compare the specs to this, which I'm gonna throw them up on here, it, you're looking at currently the performance that this card is getting is like an RTX 3060 and RX 6600 XT. But if you look at the specs, it's closer to like an RTX 3070 or an RTX 3080. So in my little dinosaur pea brain that's up here, I'm thinking like, hmm, if this is a smaller nanometer than what's in an RTX 30, 3080, sorry, not 3070, shouldn't they be able to optimize this to be have more performance than a 3080? I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm right. But if that's what happens, a card that is under $400 that can perform like a 3080 is going to have NVIDIA running freaking scared. And that's freaking awesome. Acer and Intel are really doing... I'm not gonna say it. They're doing the good work, that's all I'm gonna say. So guys, we are gonna get this thing out of the box. I'm gonna pull this plastic off and that's where we're gonna start. All right guys, I'm gonna shut up and let's break into this box. Let's get the plastic off. I'm really, really excited that Intel's making graphics cards and I hope they get their drivers issued together because that's gonna be really important. As Soon as they do that, um, I really think AMD and Intel have a, a, a serious contender with graphics cards. I mean, look at how pretty this box is. They, they uh, aren't messing around. Whoa, look at that logo. I'm sorry. It's just making me all giggly inside. I'm so happy to be playing with this card. Set that off the side. I want to keep everything mint. You're not going to be tossing stuff across the set because this thing is like, oh, you know, the lights, the bright white light. You're like, oh, and then you get up there and it's an Intel Arc A770 16 gigabyte. And you're like, yeah, it's like winning the lottery. All right, guys, I'm going to shut up and get this unboxed. Really pretty box. Good presentation. Okay. We have, looks like a quick starter guide and some info about your A770. Let me put this knife away because, you know, let's be safe. And actually it looks like uh, Intel Arc A770 and then they got an A770 OC edition. And this is an Acer Predator Biofrost Edition. It's a, it's a little name scheming they're doing because of some uh, 3D printing or 3D design with the front fan that's on here. So um, I'm going to be very interested on the thermals and how well this thing's going to hold up a as they update the drivers because that's going to be another important thing. Wow, guys, I'm seeing something really freaking cool here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Look at this. Look at this. They put a USB drive in here, and I'm going to guess 100% the drivers are on this. Come on, NVIDIA and AMD. How hard is it for you to do this? Like, really? And they're doing this for like $300. I mean, wow, just wow. Huh, I am so ecstatic to play with this thing anyways. So, guys, let's, let's first look at the card. Get her out of the, the thing. Get the anti-static shield off. Come on, baby. You want to be unwrapped because I want to unwrap you. I'm not going to line this it and drop it on the ground. It's like my firstborn child. I'm going to be very gentle with her. Ho, 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 ho. Look at that. I mean, it, ooh, we got some poly, poly stuff. Look at that back plate. Oh, my gosh. Metal, metal. Just the design that went into this, like... Wow, just wow. There's um, the, the heat sink fins right here. It actually has a cutout to allow blowing, you know, from front to back with the card. Of course, we it's a black board. I'm going to try to avoid touching the gold. If you end up do ever touching the pins on here, it's good to take a little bit of alcohol and wipe it off. And ho, 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 ho. Got some more pulleys here. Oh, it was meant to be pulled the other way. They put a little... Oh, they got little blue tabs on here. Ha, oh, Intel. Hey, sir. This thing is so freaking cool looking. Where, how do I get this one? Oh, right there. 
Okay, that's that guy. All right, guys, we're gonna pull this last tab off and let's look at this Intel Arc. A770 overclock edition. Wonderfulness. Ooh, she's sexy. We got two 8-pin uh, PCIe connectors. We have an Aeroblade 3D fan. It's actually, wow. It's got a, another pulley tab right there, if I can get to it. Probably don't want to leave that on. Ooh, nice metal-like cap they have on here. Another one right there. I like the logo. I cannot wait to get this thing. I'm touching by, I'm gonna have to wipe this down with some alcohol, but yeah. And it lights up, I guess it looks really neat. I even like the, the anodizing they did on here too. It's a very nice looking card. Good job, Intel, good job. Well guys, we're gonna get some benchmarking gaming done and we're gonna see where this thing stacks up against, you know, all these other GPUs. All right guys, we're getting right into this benchmarking gaming. Uh, of course, I didn't even tell you guys uh, what the hardware we're using. Yeah, so we're using a uh, Intel i7-12700F and that's a total of 12 cores, eight performance cores and four efficiency cores. And that's a max boost of 4.9. Efficiency core max boost frequency is 3.6 and performance core base frequency is 2.10. That's uh, 25 megabytes of Intel Smart Catch with a total of uh, 12 megabytes L2 cache. This is an ASRock Z790 Steel Legend RGB wonderfulness we got. And our RAM is 16 gigabytes of 2X8 DDR5, 4,800 megahertz Kingston Fury RGB. Uh, the Windows drive is an NVMe M.2 PCIe 4.0 uh, Western Digital Black 500 gigabyte. And the games are on a two terabyte Samsung UVO SSD. And our power supply is a 1400 watt RGB Platinum Thermaltake PSU. Of course, that was donated by a viewer, a wonderful viewer. Uh, our cooler is an NZXT Kraken 240 millimeter AIO RGB goodness using Coolmaster Master Gel Pro 2.0. It's our Acer Predator Biofrost A770 OC edition, 16 gigabyte, awesome sub graphics card. And of course the chassis we're using is a Praxis Wetbench SX Open Air Computer Test Bench Pro. Uh, I really wanted the angle version, but someone really screwed up when they ordered it and I ended up getting flat version, but you know, can't really complain once it's all built.
Ladies and gentlemen, we had a treat especially with that gaming and benchmarking. Wow, did it amaze. The 1440p and 1080p benchmarks that we did really did a good job. As you've seen on the on-screen previously, we did have some games that did not work. There are some games that are choppy and have some growing to do. There are some growing pains with this driver set still. And even with all that and knowing all that, I am still going to, with the conclusion of this video wrapping up, I'm still going to give it two thumbs up of approval. Would I say buy this over a 3060 Ti or um, an RX 6700 XT? Uh, depends on the game you're going to play, really. I, I personally, yes, because it played all the games I love to play. She's just this black beauty and the RGB is perfect. The metal backplating, the cooling is perfect. But anyways, guys, one thing I do want to show you, two things I want to show you, how to download the Acer Predator Biofrost software and how to control the fan, because I know there's really nothing out there. So let's jump over to the on screen really quick and let me school you guys in some cool stuff. Open up Google, type in Acer drivers, and go let Google search, download Acer driver support. And then depending on what card you have, this will work for the, all the Intel art cards that uh, Acer has. If, it, if this is an Intel card and it's not an Acer, it will not work. Go ahead and you're gonna type in this little number right here, which is pretty much on the back of the graphics card if you're wondering where you need to get this. And you can click this one and it'll actually bring up the stuff. You do not want to download the drivers. I am very happy Acer did not tie the drivers to their applications. There are some manufacturers that do that and it sucks donkey, you know what. Um, yeah, and it's stinky like a pile of poo. So anyways, you're going to come over to the applications and you're going to go ahead and hit download and this is going to download the Predator Biofrost control software. It's going to let you do all sorts of cool things with your GPU. I already have it installed, so I'm not going to walk through the install process with you, but let's, where did it go? I want you so, take you down forever. Where'd you go? This little bee. Guys, I'm going to run you down quick and dirty with the Acer Predator Biofrost software. So it starts in the home, it shows your core clock, memory clock, temperature, voltage. On the right here, we got user mode and we can control power limit, which I have it cranked up, temperature limit, which I have it cranked up, and then fan speed. It's on auto default, so if you want to increase your fan speed, you just go ahead and hit manual, click it up, go ahead and hit save and apply, and she will ramp her fan up as fast as it can go. She can make a liar of me. The software is a little bit bumpy, and if you do start playing something intensive, it will ramp up. I think uh, Acer and Intel have a little bit more work to polish these drivers, you know. You know when you get a piece of metal and it looks really beautiful, but it's dull, and you just got to get that metal polish and just put all that elbow grease in it, wax on, wax off, wax on. And then you're like, oh, it's starting to look really pretty. And eventually you can, like, see your face in it, and you're like, yeah, they're not there yet. They're at the point where the metal is kind of dull, and it's like, it's pretty, but you know, you want it polished. That is the nitty gritty of the Predator Biofrost software application. And if you have any more questions or concerns or comments, throw them down in the comment section down below. I love answering your comments, guys. I just want to give you one heads up. I am super busy and my time is very valuable. So I try to get to everybody, but it's just not possible nowadays. I'm Tech Nitwit and this Acer Predators got me hyped because it's freaking awesome. Anyways, guys, that's the conclusion of this video. Two thumbs of approval. Awesome graphics card. And just keep your eyes peeled because there's going to be more of this.